My name is Abu Hamor. Um, I'm an infectious diseases uh, specialist. Um, I work at um, uh, the University Hospital of Northern, Northern British Columbia, and uh, um, I have a private office at the Phoenix uh, Medical Building. Um, my um, involvement with HIV comes from my um, work as an infectious disease uh, physician. I um, uh, look after patients with uh, HIV and um, um, uh, various other infectious diseases. Um, it, is, it is very important, um, uh, that is a very important uh, aspect of care uh, that we provide for our, uh, our HIV infected patients, uh, is the importance of um, adherence to treatment once we start them on treatment. Uh, first we talk to, to, to our patients about um, how important it is to start antiretroviral therapy or HIV treatment because that can um, help prevent infections, it can help them uh, live longer, um, healthier lives, and it can also help prevent transmission of infection to others. Um, but that only works if the medication are taken regularly. And the um, uh, adherence is that is required for it with HIV medication is quite demanding, uh, meaning that people will have to take at least 95% of the prescribed doses for this medication to be effective and for the um, uh, resistance not to develop. So uh, we spend a lot of time talking to our patients about how important it is to take their medicines on a regular basis and to, tr uh, and, and to try not to miss any doses um, so that the medication can work for them and um, uh, does what it's supposed to do um, in terms of its uh, uh, suppression of the virus and uh, help the immune system, uh, helping the immune system recover and preventing infections and, and, and prolonging uh, uh, survival uh, of, of these patients. Uh, sure. Um, sometimes um, people, um, patients with HIV, may have uh, many challenges in their, uh, in their life. They may have uh, um, problems with uh, housing, they may have uh, uh, instability in their social uh, uh, environment. Uh, they may they may be um, they may have they may be dealing with poverty. They may be um, homeless. They may be uh, uh, involved in addiction. They may be suffering from addiction problems, mental health issues, um, and sometimes they may be. Um, they may, may be suffering from some mental health illness related to the HIV itself, leading to uh, dementia and forgetfulness. So they, they, there can be many um, uh, barriers or many reasons uh, why um, some patients may find it difficult to adhere um, to the prescribed medication as they should. Um, and that is um, a, uh, a challenge for us uh, when I say us, I mean all healthcare workers caring for these patients uh, to try and overcome these barriers to support patients as much as possible uh, in, in, their, in their environment and their communities so that they can actually um, adhere to medication uh, despite all these um, uh, uh, social issues or mental health issues that may uh, interfere with their um, uh, with their adherence. Uh, things like addiction, whether it's alcohol or drugs, uh, need to be tackled early. Uh, so, uh, housing, poverty, um, uh, living in um, 
in uh, remote areas also may may prove uh, sometimes uh, uh, a challenge because access to healthcare providers in these remote areas may not be as uh, uh, as easy as as it is for instance if, if, if patients are living in a city um, so in the north in particular we we face many of these challenges and that is what why we need to uh, maximize our efforts as as a team uh, um, of providers to to make sure that our patients uh, adhere to medication and reap the benefits of antiretroviral therapy.